Let's talk about how to calculate the volume of pyramids, cones, and spheres. Consider this pyramid, which has been placed inside of a cube. The pyramid and the cube have the same height and the same base, but obviously their volumes are not equal. The volume of the pyramid is less than the volume of the cube, but by how much? It's actually equal to a third. The volume of a pyramid is equal to one-third the product of the base of the pyramid and the height of the pyramid. So it's really similar to what we learned in the previous lesson about volumes of prisms, because we're going to be multiplying the area of the base times the height. The difference is that for a pyramid, you only need a third of that answer. So you can either multiply by 1 over 3, or you can divide by 3. Those two operations are equivalent. Let's try an example. Here we have a square pyramid. Its base would be 18 squared. 324 square feet would be the area of its base. And the height of this pyramid is 15 feet. So to calculate the volume, I'll say that it's one third times the area of the base times the length of the height. And I get my total volume of 1,620 cubic feet. Let's try a harder one. This time we have a hexagonal pyramid. An easy way to calculate the area of a hexagon like this one is just to divide it into two trapezoids. This trapezoid has these measurements. 14.4 is coming from 7.2 doubled. 7.2 was the length from the center of the base of the pyramid to the edge. So the entire length must be 14.4. And then each of the side lengths of the hexagon is 6. In order to calculate the area of this trapezoid, we need to know the height. To calculate the height, we're going to need to break the 14.4 base into pieces. One piece of it has to be 6, because this shape in the center of the trapezoid is a rectangle. If I take 6 away from the 14.4, I get 8.4, and divide that evenly amongst the two little segments that I have left, and I find out that they're each 4.2. So to calculate the height, I would do 4.2 squared plus h squared is equal to 6 squared and we find out that the height is 4.3. So now we're ready to calculate the area of the base. The area of the trapezoid is equal to 1 half times base 1 plus base 2 times the height. But remember, there are two of these trapezoids that make up the entire hexagonal base. So I'll say 2 times 1 half times base 1 plus base 2 times the height. Type all that into your calculator, and you should get the area of the base to be about 87.72 square meters. We're told that the height of this pyramid is 12 meters, so the volume of the pyramid would be one-third of 87.72 times 12, so the volume is 350.9 cubic meters. The volume of a cone is also one-third of a cylinder with the same base and height. So just like what we talked about with cylinders, that the volume of a cylinder is really the same formula as the volume of a prism, it's the same thing with a volume of a cone. It is one-third the base times the height, it's just that the base is a circle, so you could rewrite that as pi r squared. So let's give it a try. The area of the base of this cone, well the base is a circle, so I'll do pi r squared. So the area of this base is 907.9. But for my volume calculation, I also need the height of the cone, and the 30 that I was given is the slant height. The height is the distance between the apex and the center of the base. In order to calculate the height, we'll of course have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So leg squared plus leg squared is equal to hypotenuse squared. I find out that the height is about 24.7 feet long. So now I'm ready to calculate the volume of the cone. It's equal to one third of the base times the height for a total of 7,475 cubic feet. Our next example, we're given the diameter of the base, so remember to cut that in half when you're calculating the area of the circle. The base is equal to pi times 8 squared, which is 201.1. This time we've been given the height, so no Pythagorean theorem this time. So we're ready to plug in our numbers to calculate the volume of the cone. It's one-third the area of the base times the height, so the volume is about 1,005.5 cubic centimeters. And finally, let's discuss the volume of a sphere. The formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds times pi 
times r cubed. And if I had a dollar for every time I had a student do r squared here instead of r cubed, I could retire. Please be sure that you are cubing your radius when you are calculating the volume of a sphere. Let's give it a try. The volume of this sphere would be 4 thirds times pi times 9 cubed, 9 to the third power. Type that in the calculator and we get our answer of 3053.6 cubic meters. Remember to cut it in half if you're given a diameter instead of a radius. Our formula would look like this, volume equals 4 thirds times pi times 12 to the third power. So the volume of this sphere would be 7238.2 cubic inches. And that's all you need to know about calculating the volumes of cones and cylinders and spheres. In our next video, we'll be discussing how to calculate the volumes of composite solids.